Alright, hey there, hi there, ho oh there. Hope you're still good, hope you're still safe, Black Lives Matter, and yeah. Alright, so let's get started. <laughs> so, sorry again, this is a day late. Uh, I could not record anything yesterday because my laptop goes into super mega overdrive, and when that happens, it creates a lot of heat, and my AC was broken, and I live in a desert. So when I say it got hot in my house, it got really hot. I think it got to like 92 degrees in my room specifically, and that was kind of awful, and fans give me a little bit of a headache because of the sound. So that was a fun night. <laughs> I got a little sleep. It's okay. I'm alright. I got this drawing done, and I'm happy with it. I was having trouble figuring out what I wanted to draw this week, and I was gonna do an Animal Crossing comic, but I just kind of lost interest in working on it as a like video thing, so instead I went to dig through my no matter what video, and if you haven't seen that, I'll uh, put a link at the end because it's one of my favorite things that I've ever made, but <laughs> I decided let's just redraw a screen from that thing and I did so hi I still really love Spongebob the musical I rewatched it again recently I hadn't watched it for about like a month or so so there's that I spent like literally an entire month practicing the beginning dance so that I could just do it but I also need to figure out the other version of that dance because the part after I will always wear a pledge allegiance to the part right after that has a different dance in the uh, real version of the show, I guess. Not the real version, I guess. Just the non-live version. <laughs> so there's that. I also was watching Hamilton. I did not get Disney Plus because I found out that they don't have a trial. So I found my old USB that has things on it and I just quote unquote listen watched the show. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to get it when it gets on, comes out on DVD. Hopefully it's going to come out on DVD. Please, Disney, do not limit it to Disney Plus because that will be super annoying. I want to support this show as much as I can, but you know, it's okay. It, 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 it's got its support. I want to support some other shows too. Like, I'm hoping that if this continues to go, like, Spongebob the Musical did really well. I know there's an In the Heights recording. I also, like, I'm hoping the Hamilton recording does really well. I'm hoping they'll start releasing more musicals so that everybody can see them. And I will say, as just like a personal thing, I have, I, I've seen both Hamilton and Spongebob the Musical live, and I also like re-listen to and re-watch like all the stuff that I can. Having the ability to listen to it and see it at any time that I want doesn't take away from me wanting to go see them live because there's just something so much more to seeing it live. It's a whole new experience to be like in a place where uh, you can experience it and it's so it makes it more accessible to everybody and I think it'll make it more likely for people to want to see things. I don't want like I don't want produced versions like even though I love the Sweeney Todd musical vi movie that Tim Burton made I probably would want to see it at some point. The Les Mis thing too was pretty cool and I do like the idea of having big actors but I want Broadway to also be able to have a say in it. I want Broadway to still be as important and the actors and I want them all to be able to still do their thing. Like I'm still so sad that the live Spongebob musical tour got cancelled. I'm hoping that after everything and if we can still have musicals and we can still have tours and stuff, hello cat, if we can still have those happening, I'm hoping that they're gonna have a second chance because like I imagine like there's so much that has to go into learning all those ensemble dances and learning this the changes and the characters and like just Spongebob as a whole, there's gotta be so much that has to go into learning his part. <laughs> like me watching it like 20 times over, there's just so much more. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not a theater person, of course, but you know, it. there's just so much and he was really sweet and cute and like the show was so great. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> I also really kind of hope like, I don't know, I want, I want a full version of the musical music for Spongebob because there's a lot that has changed from the Chicago version to the Broadway version 
and I want like a little interlude in between the first and second act. Not the poor pirates, but right after that there's a little part. I want like the full version of Bikini Bottom Day. I want like the updated version of Super C Star Savior and I'm Not a Loser. And yeah, it's a fun show and like I still love this show. Like if you have access to this musical on even just like any platform, I know it's on Amazon Prime. That's how I've been watching it, like nonstop, nonstop. Uh, wrong musical. <laughs> I've just really gotten really into these two shows, and I've been wanting to also check out uh, Hades Town and Beetlejuice. My friend is super into them, and uh, the whole vibe of Hades Town is like right up my alley. I'm a huge fan of Greek gods and like turning them modern in or not even modern, but putting them in a different perspective, I guess. So, and Persephone is a really cool character, and also just Sorpheus and all that jazz. I love Greek legends, I love Roman legends. I could talk for days about that kind of stuff. I went to a school where we learned a lot about ancient Greece and ancient Rome, and it was a classic school. I There's a lot of stuff that I don't agree with that school, but I do think that that school kind of encouraged me to get into all of that and be obsessed with it, so that's that's also a thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I also wanted to do something a little bit different with this. Again, I'm always trying something new. I'm always trying something different. I just want to get better at doing stuff, and uh, it's been a while since I did a digital thing. Actually, not too long, but it, it's been long enough, and I wanted to do a nice drawing for SpongeBob the Musical because, like, I went back on my old not old, I guess, but my fandom block that I made because I got really obsessed and rewatched and wanted to share all these little dumb things that I noticed. <laughs> I wanted to draw some stuff. I still have a couple of plans to draw a couple more things. I don't think I'll do them as speed paints. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I feel like there's other things that I want to talk about. Oh, patterning. Okay, so I, d I don't think I'll be at it this point because I think it's nearish the end. It would be the second half. I did this in two sittings because I started working on it on Sunday, but I didn't start working, or not Saturday, Saturday. Started working around like 10 and this took about three hours to make. So I wanted to take a break because, take a break. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to take a break from it because I was starting to get a little tired and it was about one o'clock. So I was like, I'm gonna pause and then work on it tomorrow. And then the AC broke, so <laughs> that's why I had to do it in two sessions. And yeah, I got to a nice stopping point, but I was when I was working on Patrick's shirt, hopefully this will maybe sync up. It probably won't. It's okay. But when I get to it, you'll notice, hopefully, that I was doing something a little based on Bob Ross and kind of trying to apply what I kind of did with my painting a couple weeks ago and put it in the shirt. It didn't work exactly, but I tried using the uh, the palette knife and it kind of worked. It kind of gave off the idea of mountains after I realized that I should have been using a palette knife. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. Uh, digital is so different from traditional and it's hard to really get the right vibe. and. I really want more texture and stuff and it's hard to get texture on digital without using texture brushes and using a specifically like a background or a layer that's like textured and stuff and have everything be transparent enough to see that. It's it's a whole other thing. To, I'm, I'm, I'm a traditional artist, I guess. Digital wasn't a thing that I got to do a lot when I was younger because I didn't have a pal or palette, a drawing tablet and yeah. <laughs> And I also just, I never really used Photoshop. I had like a bootleg version and I wasn't able to get it to work on this computer, which is fine. Uh, Creator works pretty well for what I've been doing and I'm pretty sure I could do a lot more with it if I could just get a separate tablet because drawing on my screen is really nice because I can see directly what I'm drawing, but drawing on a tablet I think I'll be able to do a little bit more of the animation stuff via Krita because I know there is an animation suite in it. So there's there's that. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't know, if you're drawing with uh, if you're drawing digitally, there is a huge difference between getting to draw on a screen and getting to draw on a tablet. I've done both. I personally prefer drawing on a screen 
because it's easier for me to see what I'm doing, but my laptop it does kind of slow down because it is a laptop first, it's not really a drawing computer, it's not supposed to be for that. It's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with it, I can work with it, it works fine for what I'm doing. Uh, I used to just get like the monoprice tablets. The problem with them is that they break after about two years of use and the cords aren't super great, so even though I'm paying cheaper, I get less time with it. If you get a Wacom, Wacom? I don't know. W-A-C-O-M, whichever one. Or like a Cintiq, I think that might be the same. I don't know. But if you get one of those like higher end, the ones that people use in the industry and stuff, you are going to be able to use it for like several years. I used to have a Bamboo Fun one that's like really, really tiny and it worked. And honestly, I think I could still take it out and use it again, but I have no idea where it went and it's too small for a lot of the projects that I work on. So there's that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, and I, I had it like when I was in seventh grade or something like that, which is a long time ago. That's over 10 years ago. So that's, that's a thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think, I think I, if I keep on talking, we're just going to talk about nothing. Um, hopefully, I don't know. What do you guys think about like the style that I'm going for? It's not too different from like my drawing style, it's just the coloring style is a little different. I did things on separate layers uh, just so I could get the different pa textures. By the way, Patrick's shorts are were the hardest thing for me to just do. I got tired of working on them after a little bit. I had a lot of fun with a shirt because I got to ha draw some happy little trees, but there was a point where I was just like, I'm just gonna draw lines and then add some texture to it, kind of, not really. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, Spongebob's pants were also pretty fun to do. I don't know, I like I like how many textures that Spongebob has. By the way, I still want to cosplay Spongebob, that, that's not changed. That is a thing that I am planning to doing at some point whenever I can leave the house without having to worry about all sorts of stuff and all that jazz. <laughs> Alright, so I think I think that really is it. I don't have much else to say. On Friday I'm hoping probably just another speed paint. Uh, I've had an idea for a really dumb Hamilton thing. <laughs> How many ways can I combine Hamilton, or not Hamilton, Spongebob the Musical with other things that I enjoy? How many ways can I do that? Lots. I just listen to a song, think of a character, or I get obsessed with something else and I'm like, Okay, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so I might do like a clip thing because I have a couple of things that I've been wanting to do, but it's really just me sitting down and doing them. They'd probably be a sticky note thing because that's just fun for me, but <laughs> that's, that's, that's really it. Anyway, uh, yeah, there, that's, this is, this is truly the end of things question mark. So, uh, thank you for watching, thanks for listening, thanks for swinging by, thanks for being patient <laughs> with me. Uh, uh, if you like my videos, subscribe. I don't know if the bell notification works. I'm gonna try and do this and see if this changes my subscribe rate. I got like three subscribers and I'm a day late, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, so that's- there we go. Okay, thanks, bye!
Thank you.